good day wherever you are and welcome to the channel and then today we are going to learn how to download and install mood first of all what is mood or what is a mod? a mod is a file containing information about a certain game in this instant we're going to look at euro truck simulator and american truck simulator so mods are basically files that contains information about american truck simulator or euro truck simulator and then this information is all about modifying some content inside the game or this information can add some content in the game types of mod in euro truck simulator and american truck simulator we have different types of mod in American Truck Simulator or Euro Truck Simulator, which are, can be truck mods, it can be trailer mods, it can be tuning mods like engine mods or truck accessories, it can be map mods such as Pro Mods or Mini Extended and the Bunch, it can be AI traffic modes, it can be trailer pack, it can be skin for trucks and even skin for trailers, it can be other modes. So all these types of modes are available for Euro Truck Simulator and American Truck Simulator. Where to find this mod? You can find American Truck Simulator and, and Euro Truck Simulator modes on different websites. There are several dif different websites. We have Modland, uh, we have All Modes, and the rest. And even in Steam, there are available modes on Steam. And then I'll show you later how to download modes from Steam directly to your profile. So what do you do after downloading a mod? Let me show you. But first, before we can proceed, please uh, subscribe to the channel, give this video a like and then share the video so that it can help many people who are playing American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator. Okay, how to download mods? I will leave links on the descriptions about website where you can find these different kinds of modes there are many websites as i've mentioned earlier so for now i am choosing this one it's called ets2.ltn it's a very cool website it has modes so we are going to download the mod any mod and then i am going to show you how to install it but first i am going to show you how to download the mod for this to work you must have uh, internet access and then you must use uh, google chrome or mozilla firefox or opera or any web browser it is fine as for myself i am using google chrome so i have already inside the website now let's just uh, find one more to download i have chosen this one it's a DAF NTT version 1.5.1 it's a truck it's a very good truck so i'm going to click on it you can either click here or you can scroll down and go to download before you can go to download it is important to read descriptions because it might help you to know the compatibility version okay let me explain what is a compatibility version or a compatibility as you know that euro truck and american truck simulator they release updates uh, two times a year or three times sometimes so when they release an update the modes that you use on the previous update some of them might not be supported on the newer update so before you download a mod make sure that the current version you are using is very compatible with the mod that you are downloading as you know that now we are currently using version 1.47 although 1.48 is open for open beta but the stable one is 1.47 as you can see in the description they say adapted for ets2 1.47 so you know if you are using 1.47 
this mode is going to work properly but if you are using 1.46 1.45 it might run into issues like compatibility issue okay so now that we have tried that uh, let's go ahead and download the mode click download and then this uh, window will open just generate link it's generating download link then down and then wait then uh, just uh, download and then let's just choose where we are downloading all my documents and then open then download now the download is done what do you do after that when you download a mod it might come in two ways some will come up being packed inside being zipped in a file i'll show you later how to extract the zip file and then some might come straight as an scs file this one is fine it will go directly to the mod folder without being zipped I will explain later about the zipped file. Okay, this is our downloaded file. It's SCS file. On the document folder, there is a folder called Eurotrack Simulator 2. This is not where your game is stored, but this is where your game saves are stored. All your profiles are stored. They are separate. They say a game directory and where your save are. This one is where your saves are. You will see files like this. We are now interested in this one called mode. We are interested in this little file. So go back, just copy your CS file, open that folder, open the mode folder, and then paste. Done you have successfully installed a mod into your game you open up your game after opening up your game you go to mode manager and then you go and look for that mod that you just downloaded this is the DAF entity. To install it, you have to double click. Or you can just click once and this arrow. It that way you have installed. Make sure that you don't leave your mode in this side. Always make sure that the mode that you are going to use it is also in this side because in this side is active this side the mode is not active so make sure that you sort out that issue before you can continue now that we have uh, successfully made this mode active we can confirm our changes okay now that you have installed the mode let's go and find it uh, just go to track dealers access mod dealer and then we have it this is our truck we can try to customize it if you want uh, and try to customize it if you want uh, you can customize it uh, put your engine and everything uh, it's up to you it's entirely up to you it's entirely up to you and then uh, let's buy it and then we are going to test it okay
As you can see, this is our track. This is our track mode. We have successfully downloaded it and then we have uh, installed it. Okay, and then the second part of installing mode, uh, it's a different procedure. Uh, you need to be connected to Steam. You must link your profile with Steam and then after linking your profile with Steam, everything is pretty straightforward. Just go to mode manager and then go to Steam Workshop. and then steam workshop will open up here and then um, let's just search for a moved uh, let's search for scania t scania tin all right this is what I'm looking for the RGL scanner T and T4 cells. So when you're in here, you must click this plus button to subscribe. And then just hit escape and then give it a go. The mod will appear on the mod list. It is still downloading as you can see. After it's done downloading, you will see the mode here, yeah, RGL scanner T, and then you will see the little icon. It, it means it's from Steam. So you can install it here yeah, on the active right, right rectangle, and then you are done. So, well, we don't have any garages for this profile, but here is your mods, as you can see, they are here. And then that's it. Uh, as for me, thank you. Have a lovely day.